Hi friends, it's Audrey here. Welcome back to our channel, 1824 Walker Farmhouse. Uh, today I'm going to take you a little bit around the farm, up the shop, and share you what we've been doing the last week. Um, we're going to change up some of the gardens. I wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to go up to our shop. I was saying in a video before this, like seems like the young people say thrifting and um, we always say antiquing, but <laughs> uh, Dave and I never really went to too many thrift shops. And on Instagram, I see all these girls like getting all these wonderful things. <laughs> so I decided, hey, let's just start going. And I have had some luck. It's way better than what it used to be before. When we went, we always went to antique stores and either um, found something for a bargain and brought it home for us or we just um, kept it if we really liked it for us. But I've been finding some really nice things, so I'm going to share that with you. And also, I wanted to share with you a little bit of our St. Patrick's Day. Um, we went to a parade on Saturday and had lots of fun. And so I was going to share that with you. You know, when I first got on Instagram, well, my friend talked me into it, and I love it. I have found all kinds of other shepherdesses, and um, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Well, anyhow, I got on, I thought, well, I'm just going to do all about farming and the sheep, and now I love sheep, and um, but it ended up, I didn't do it myself, and me and David do it, and then you find out, like, we're decorating and we like our antiques and so uh, I ended up just sharing everything all about us and um, then Dave was like oh you should take a picture of this or that you know and so um, I said well you can get your own account <laughs> and he did and um, but he if you know I watched like a lot of blogs and other girls on Instagram and on and on YouTube and you know a lot of them they hire content directors like people that does their content and writes their blogs and you know we've always been sort of like the one man band <laughs> and um i i give them credit because they know how to delegate but um if we had a content director it would be dave because he is just so good about coming up with ideas and um so anyhow Hopefully he's going to get a better phone. A lot of times he takes mine. And when we were down at the parade, he was like, honey, take this picture and honey, take that picture. <laughs> and um, the one you're going to love. It's like, I didn't even notice it. I think you have to be like an artist. It's it's a baby pool with a garbage can and they paint it green. And it's like a big hat. So you'll see that. And so we just started making some Irish food too this week. And, um, and next week we have a lot of new things coming. Uh, we have... Uh, farm tour scheduled. We have uh, people come in to learn about sheep and we're helping our friends on their sheep shearing day and we're getting our sheep sheared next week. So I um, I probably won't be doing a farm blog till after that, but it'll be all about sheep and um, I'm excited to get them. Oh, and our vets come in for their health checks. We have a, vet, a large animal vet come in. She does like a health wellness, just like people do. We do that for our sheep too. And I'm little, you know, they had mites last year and I'm hoping that's not gonna be this year. So anyhow, thanks for being here. And speaking of content, director Dave thought that the last video was a little bit too, um, you know, too abrupt at the end. But I do wanna tell you on this ending, we were going to go get feed. And you know, we just love long horned cows, bulls, I'm not sure. Anyhow, long horned cows. Oh, we saw the biggest one in a farmyard. So that's at the very end. And, um, but I'll have music to it and it'll be softer and nicer. <laughs> so here's, I uh, have a wonderful week to you. Oh, and on Friday, on Friday, I hope to have another video of a store that we're going to, you know, we love all kinds of stores and we hope to share with you farms and um, oh, we have a flower farm. We have two flower farms that we're going to go visit. And I just can't wait to see them. So anyhow, thank you for being here and sticking with us in our lives. Somebody emailed us and said, hey, Audrey and Dave, it's just like when we come to your shop. <laughs> and so anyhow, this is our life in the country. And we're just happy to share it with you. So have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you this Friday um, for a new video. We're going to be visiting Megan, and she owns Farmhouse 5540, and we get to go in before 
the open house and I'm so excited and we all just love Megan. So anyhow, have a wonderful, wonderful day and thanks for being here. Well, Dave has this 98% clean, so it's not going to be months. <laughs> He's uh, giving himself good time, though, to get it done, but it's already looking 100% better. Nobody really sees this but me and him, <laughs> but, you know, I'm always the one that likes things nice and neat and tidy, but so, hon, while you're here and <laughs> we're discussing this, what do you think of the pasture over this way? versus taking it down that way we used to have our pasture down there and i was thinking for rotational grazing because we don't have as many sheep as we used to maybe do it over here what do you think yeah i it's a possibility it would it would make it easier to rotate if it was here so in the background i hear blue birds and red winged blackbirds i don't know if they'll show up on the Tape. Oh my, so listen. That's a bluebird. Robin. <laughs> if we move the pasture down below where it is now, which is where it used to be, our pasture used to go the whole way down past the pond. You can see that down there. And. It was nice. The sheep always had water, but of course we have water up at the barn. The water line broke, <laughs> and we're going to work on that this summer. Ah, coming over to the sheep. There they are. That's Eli taking a stroll. The other day, if you saw in our last farm <laughs> video, it was Annabelle that was leading, and then Genevieve came and gave her a nudge if you go back and look at that real close but Annabelle has arthritis so I was just thrilled to see her lean the pack because she usually doesn't and there's Eli but I was thinking if we move the pasture down there uh, the black the red winged blackbirds are <laughs> nesting they won't be happy <laughs> no they won't be happy but uh, well, whatever you think is good but we are going to expand our pasture. Whether we go down towards the pond or over towards this part of our property, we're definitely going to expand it this year. Just to give you a closer look, we're thinking of the one. It has a really good end. We're going to clean it and scrub it. And I'm thinking of putting it in our mantle. We have a 70s mantle in our living room, and um, I'm thinking that will really help it look early. But there was a fire one time in the Walker house. So the one beam has burnt marks on it. And uh, that tells a story. We're going to cut the other ones up and use them for crafts. This is our herb garden here. It's been an herb garden for oh, 30 years. And last year Dave said, you know, I think we need to rotate the plants out of here and give it a rest. And I did plant them one more year and he was right this ground needs a rest so we're going to rest it this year i'm going to dig it up a little bit and um i'm going to try an experiment i'm going to put wool all over it wool from our sheep i've heard i've read a lot of good things about putting wool on the ground for when you water and um and keep the nutrients in it so that's going to be something new this year. I wanted to share with you our garden plans for this spring and summer. This used to have five huge, I don't know, 50 feet, 70 feet pine trees in this space. And two years ago, we had taken them out. We had taken out altogether 30 trees, 30 to 40 trees, because they got some kind of disease. And uh, so... I thought, well, while we had this ground up, I would plant something here. And I was concerned because they're pine trees, but it did work out. Um, I read articles that actually the acidity, once the tree's gone, it isn't in the ground. So um, the, I'll show you a picture of it the first year. Last year I had critters come in, so I'm going to have to put a fence a little bit around it. 
and we have these stones here from the Walker House. So they're 1824 stones. They're from the foundation. We have a pile down at the bottom of our woods that we keep when we want to bring up. And David brought up a bunch of those. And I have cone flowers here that'll be coming up. We planted zinnias and cosmos. And that was my parents' bird bath. So I'm going to do something fancy around it. And um, we're going to move our herb garden this year. It's our lilac tree. We're going to the wall, the stone wall needs a little bit of work. I'm going to redo it a little bit. And that's my potting shed. And David built that from a picture that I saw in a magazine. So I was so grateful he did that for me. And it has served different purposes. Um, I'm going to clean it out. I have a lot of things in there that are doubles and triples that I don't use. And I'm going to, they're vintage and antiques. I'm going to put them up in our shop. But we're going to move our herb garden over here. When um, 30 years ago, we had a huge perennial bed the whole way over to the mulberry tree. And um, oh, we had a nut tree behind the potting shed. And you cannot grow anything underneath a nut tree. So... Uh, the nuts would fall and then they would just kill the plant and I, I worked full time and I just sort of gave up on it but I want to bring this spot back to life and um, I'll show you pictures like I said and I, I think it came out nice we're gonna put more sunflowers in up here although we're gonna do another field this year but uh, I'm excited just to see this bare bare spot come back to life you see he has the headlights on that's firewood that we're going to use he actually has one spot almost totally cleaned up down there just has to take the brush out it's like we're getting there it's exciting it's starting to get dark though so time to go in And Dave said, don't forget to tell me you started decorating for Easter. But I did. I'm starting to decorate for Easter and spring a little bit. We have our wool bunny and sheep. And I love Peter Rabbit books. So I have a bunch of them. And those carrots we got from Janice at the garden shed. And you will love the garden shed. She's in another video that we went to visit. And this is in a nail, uh, it was like a folk art cart. And, uh, so yeah, I didn't want to forget that. When we were at the parade, I just gave Dave the phone and he had fun with it. And sometimes he forgets, um, how to put the picture on on Instagram, but he gets it. And then I like maybe have to help him a little bit. And then he, he does all the, you know, the words and, uh, so we're learning that and YouTube all together. But yeah, this is my little... This is the start of Easter decorating. Spring, spring is coming. Although there's an inch of snow out there, spring is coming. Oh boy, it's snowing. <laughs> the other day when I was videoing, it wasn't snowing at all. And uh, it snowed today, this morning. Some of the school districts had a two hour delay, but uh, it's snowing, but Thursday it's supposed to be 52. So one thing in March, if it snows, you know, it's it melts quick. It doesn't last long. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you some of our finds lately. We got these cute little Christmas lights, and I have a group of girls that just love vintage Christmas. They come every year to our wreath-making class, so I'll save these for next year or for this year for Christmas, and um, that's what I have to do. Like I was saying in the one video, I used to never buy Christmas too early, and now if I see something, we just grab it, and I think they're really cute with the lights, and I got the um, bucket, I'll put geraniums in, and um, I got some vintage, well, they're early urns, so Dave was just so excited about that. And a lot of times he'll bring stuff up from the truck and he starts decorating. So we're going to have the Pussy Willows for sale and he has those all ready to go. One of our neat finds was this picture. And it's, um, you know, like I was saying, I just don't really go to thrift stores. But we found that at a Salvation Army. 
that and the bowl and the bowl does have a crack in it but you know you could still use it or display it and they're early english ironstone so we were real excited about that and david found this basket and it has a handle in the back and uh, i love to use those i put fresh flowers in them i always just put a plastic liner in them like a garbage bag and um, i put them on our fence on door handles and they only last for so long because they are outside so if i can find a you know inexpensive one of those we grab them and little stools always go and uh this was like a cute little vintage it was made out of easter and spring cards i remember seeing these they were made out of christmas cards and not all our customers like primitive uh excuse me primitives um they do like country other country items and a little bit of vintage and uh david and i make candles and i found these are so pretty so next christmas i am going to put candles make those for candles and then i found these and oh i thought they were so pretty too the white milk glass and um I'm going to put lavender, make uh, lavender candles out of those, and a nice little plate with a little bit of flowers on it. It would be great for out on the porch. And I found a whole pile of the calendar towels, and I've made these for like for pillows. And but this one I was so excited about. It's from England, and I got these at Saint Vincent de Paul, and um, it's Yorkshire Dales. And I follow a girl on Instagram. Uh, she's a Yorkshire Shepherdess. And I just fell in love with this. It's a lap map. <laughs> and um, I, I mean, it's from England. It's, it's marked English on the bottom. So I thought that was really fun. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, and I have a few things in the house I want to show you. Oh, I wanted to show you this was a French market basket that I got. It's in the video at the very end, Garden Style Living. When we went to visit them, it was on Friday, and I just love it. And I have one of these in our house, and um, it's a little different, and I use it for a laundry basket. And Dave thought maybe we were going to have two laundry baskets, but I'm I'm not selling it, but I'm going to keep it up the shop. And I thought to display the long stem pussy willows or sunflowers in it. It'll be pretty. So this is it close up. It has a nice size to it. Okay, and I wanted to show you this. We also got this recently at an antique mall co-op. I was so excited, though. We got it for a little bit over $6. And I don't plan on reselling it, but I absolutely love it. It is, I believe the ladies are in a garden outside, and I think they're at the well. I absolutely love it, and I just couldn't believe the price. So this was at an antique shop. <laughs> but still, it was in a mall, an antique mall, and um, I don't know, that really surprised me. Maybe it's a repo, but I don't think it is. But I absolutely love it. Okay, friends, we got this also. I wanted to show it to you. Um, I got this at Goodwill, and it was less than $10, and I got 25% off because I'm a senior citizen, and I think that was like a really good buy. I really didn't know about it. I don't know a lot about pottery. Uh, when Dave and I had a shop full-time, I would, if it was glass, I would break it on the way to the shop. So anyhow, um, but I looked it up, and it's vintage Italian pottery, and it's a good piece. So... Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't go far thrifting, but just because I don't think you're going to, I'm not going to get up, I can't get up by April, but to go in your local areas, I think it's really worth it. And you could always put plants in things. So I was real happy to get this too.